Hi friends, today we're going to absorb rocks. And I have different types of rocks here. I love to collect rocks. I don't know the names of the rocks. I don't know where they come from, how old they are. But geologists do, that's what they do. They study the earth. And it's a very interesting career to get into. But I just love rocks and I love shiny rocks. So anytime I see a shiny rock, it goes in my pocket. So, but two of these are not rocks. Now I'm gonna go slow and I want you to guess which two are not rocks. Okay, once you looked at them, I'm gonna go back so you can have one more glance at them. All right, so now, which ones do you think are not the rocks? There are two of them. Hmm. Did somebody say this? The bark? You're right. This is not a rock. This is just a piece from a tree, an old tree. It's the outside of it, and it's called the bark. It is hard like a rock, but it can still break. Okay. And what? The shell? Yes, you are so right. The shell is not a rock. There was an animal living there at one time, and that was found in the water, because a lot of rocks are in the water. But you know, now that we're talking about shells and this one not being a rock, did you know that after so many years, like millions of years, a shell can and it becomes a fossil. Now look at this big chunk of rock. Let me show you. Look at that. That's a shell. It's embedded into the rock. Look at all these shells. There's, this rock is so old that all these shells have become part of the rock. Very, very old. Isn't that cool? Look at that. There's several of them too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. This is called a fossil. And it has all of these shells that are probably millions of years old. Very old, before my time. That's how old it is. And it is very cool. Look at that, it even has some on this side. And look, it has some patterns. That almost looks like a worm. Maybe there was a worm there was. Or look at this side. Look at that, can you see that? That looks like a worm. Maybe there were animals when it became a fossil. Like I said, I don't know much about this, but it sounds like a fun thing to do in life. So, so now we know that this is not a rock, it's a bark. But just to let you know, even trees can become rocks and they're called petrified wood. I wish I had one here with me. I do have one, I just don't have it with me. And we know that even though this is a shell, it's not a rock, it can become part of a rock and become a fossil. That is like awesome. Now, look at these other rocks. Look at the colors, look at the shapes. They all have different shapes. Observe, if you have rocks in the backyard, go out there, get some rocks, and just look at them. Look at the different colors, texture, shapes. Do they sparkle? Are they just flat color? Do they have more than one color? Look, that one has like a black line in the middle. Uh, do they have a bunch of lines like this one? Look at this one. That looks like it's a busy highway or something. Look at that. Bunch of lines on it. Then we have this, and I think this is really part of a road. It has a lot of sparkles in there and a bunch of tiny little like sand grain. I don't know, grains of sand? I'm not really sure what that is. And then we have this one. And this one's really pretty. And this was found on the ground. And I'll take pictures so y'all can see them better because my camera keeps uh, getting out of focus and that's not helping at all. But this one has a lot of sparkle. It's very pretty. Oh, it has a piece of grass on it. This I know is limestone. Look at this big chunk of limestone. And look how it sparkles. It is beautiful because it's old. After so many years, with the sand and water. 
water, erosion, it does this. Look at that, isn't that cool? Look at the back. Does it look the same? No. And that's probably because this is what was exposed and then you turn it over and then you saw the beautiful, beautiful side of it. Or vice versa, I'm not really sure. Looks like this was on the ground and that was exposed. Either way, it's beautiful. So next time you go outside, please pick up rocks. Compare the rocks to something else. Compare the rocks to this magnifying glass. Is it the same? Of course not. Why? Well, this has glass. This has plastic. Does this have glass? No. Does it have plastic? No. Compare them, even with another rock. These two rocks. Look at the lines on this one. Does this one have lines? Mm, not really. But look at all the lines on this one. Yeah, it's got a bunch. Look at that. What color? Are they the same color? No. Different colors. So there's a bunch of things that you can pick up and observe and look and compare. Discuss and ask questions. Even if you can't find the answer, it's okay. Keep that question in your mind. Perhaps someday you'll be able to answer that question. It's always fun. Always. And if you want to get a little glass or a jar with sand, look at the sand and compare the sand to the rocks. You know, a lot of sand, like white sands in New Mexico, it came from the mountains. So it's just something to think about. But please, help yourself. There's a bunch of rocks. See, look at this one. I just got another one. This one's a big one too. So anyway, just get you some rocks and have fun. Explore your rocks. Observe your rocks. Compare the rocks. Ask questions and have fun with it. All right? All right then. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to wash hands. Be safe. I miss y'all and I can't wait to see y'all again. Later, friends.